Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do my final cash stuffing of my husband's paycheck. Um, you guys saw me in my last video stuff my paycheck. This is his. Um, he does get tips on top of this. So, I did add that into the previous video, but this is his check with yesterday's tips. Um, I have my emotional support coffee here. Um, a friend of mine went to the beach and got me this cup. I do not live anywhere near a beach, so I thought it was kind of cute. Um, I like it. It's the uh, prescription coffee uh, doctor I am awake um, with a saying on it. Um, I thought it was really cute. I like coffee cups. Um, I do also like those fancy dance Starbucks cups, even though I don't drink Starbucks. Um, very often I'm a store brand coffee chick because, you know, I'm low income and I'm just frugal. Um, I like Starbucks. Um, I actually ended up getting a, um, pumpkin spice latte from, um, the human bean. It's a coffee company that's all around Oregon. Um, I got a super awesome gift from Courtney um, as a cash app for 10 bucks. So I went and got myself one of those. Courtney, I can tell you right now, girl, <laughs> my taste was off when I had, you know, the, the Rona virus. <laughs> and uh, I did not know if I could handle going to get my fancy coffee until I started to feel better. <laughs> Because I was like, oh my god, my, my coffee doesn't taste right. You know, something's wrong. You know, it's it's a bad word here. If something's wrong with your coffee, it's it's just a bad word. And it could be the big, big F word, you know. So, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to do my normal spiel, you know, where my name, my age, and all that stuff. You guys already hear that all the time. So, you'll hear it in another video, just not this one. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, hey, welcome back. I am in my robe. It is early in the morning. I am getting ready to get out and do some gig working. I'm ready to get back to it. Um, I took a couple days because I wasn't feeling well. <clears throat> As I start to lose my voice, take a drink of coffee. Um, I had a upper respiratory thing going on and then I ended up, you know, testing positive for, you know, the C, uh, the runavirus. And, uh, <laughs> I ended up just feeling like crap. So I needed a break from the car and from all the things. Um, I was working, doing some things, you know, from home, things that need to be good, <clears throat> things that needed to be done. Man, I am, I don't know what's going on with my voice today. But let's go ahead and get this cash counted. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, another 100. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars that we are going to utilize towards something very important. I was going to use it for other things like sinking funds for like the holidays and do all the things. But then I was like, you know what, Amanda, we have November to skid by, um, and we also still have our savings challenges going on. So, I don't even think I'm going to need this today, you guys. I know what I'm putting this money to. So, I did let um, my husband know that he could take out some money of from his check. You know, it is not, you know, 100% my money. It is his money. He did work for this. Um, we did discuss, you know where his money goes and all the things he is a part of the budgeting he knows what's what's going in and what's going out um but he deserves some money i do take a little bit of money myself from my check i did go get my nails and my eyebrows done cost me 63 bucks um i'm gonna move the camera just slightly there we go okay so this money is going to finish off 
something very, very important. So I'm excited for that. I do need to go to the bank. Why am I grabbing that? That is the bills binder, Amanda. We don't want it to go to bills. We already, we already gave our money to bills. <clears throat> Somebody asked me if I'm gonna be working on a month ahead. Eventually I will get there, but right now I have other goals that need to be happening. We have all the things in this binder as well as our revolving sinking funds in the other binder that need to be worked on as well. Um, luckily things have gone pretty, <clears throat> pretty well at the job front. However, I do have some news about that while I'm here. So we're getting a new district person and I thought I was going to move on up to the head overlord position um, of being the, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip, of being the GM of the store, but it's looking like they are going to keep me at my position, which I was originally hired to be the assistant manager, which is essentially the same job, just working side by side with somebody. I don't know who this person is that's coming in, but they are going to be the overlord of the store. I'm going to be the assistant overlord, and then we're going to have a new district person. Everything is changing so fast. I'm nervous. Um, you know, I ended up messaging my, my besties out there, my budget besties, and I was like about ready to have an aneurysm yesterday. Um, <laughs> After finding news that, you know, this was happening and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, this is bad. I don't really know if it's bad. It just means that I won't be working 63 hours a week anymore. And that, you know, I can spend some time with my family. Um, maybe I don't have to close every single night. I'm trying to keep a good positive morale about it because I don't really know what this is going to look like. So we're adding the $600 into this emergency fund. But I'm an overthinker, you guys. I <clears throat> I overthink about everything. Like, I, I don't know why I do it. I have gone to therapy. I have, you know, done all the things. Um, the only one thing that I can think of that I can pinpoint... God, this seems like such a lot of money, but it, it's it's only a thousand dollars. I say that like ah, it's only a thousand dollars, but look at all of it. Oh, it makes me so happy. I'm so proud. Um, but I I try to look at the bright side of things, and I try my best to not overthink things. But I think poverty and instability and being homeless and losing my entirety of my world um that really kind of messed with my my head a little bit so i'm always thinking about the absolute doom okay i have a kid like that too so my oldest son he doesn't always like it when i talk about him but he is an overthinker he thinks himself out of a good situation a lot and he also has, you know, the autism. He, uh, he's a very high functioning kid. He talks, he does all of the kid things that kids do. He, he loves, you know, being a good, you know, well-rounded kid, but he gets some pretty intense negative thoughts, you know, and Last night when I talked to him, he was like, Mom, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not really okay because, you know, I wanted to be the overlord of the store, you know? And uh, he was like, well, just think of it as you don't have to work as much anymore, Mom. You know, so I I had to put that into perspective, you know, and he's 12. He's not... 
he's not in the dark, you guys. He knows about money and finances and working. And his um, bio dad and I have worked very hard all of our lives. Um, his bio dad is much older than me. And, you know, he's like, you know, maybe this is, you know, not the time and the place for this. But at least you're still the assistant and you're still going to get the bulk of the hours and you're still going to get your regular pay, which is fine. I just liked the overtime. The overtime was kicking it into overdrive, you guys. Like, I have some serious plans if that continues. Um, to make some major, major, major changes in my life, um, in my husband's life, our life, you know, he's out there working really hard and I appreciate that. Um, he has a lot of anxiety. Um, this job has actually worked out really well for him because it's kind of like, you know, he's a delivery driver for our pizza place. So it's like doing DoorDash on overdrive because he's getting paid hourly plus the daily tips that he gets to cash out. However, I find that to be very strange looking at a paycheck. I've never really been a waitress. However, um, I did for a few weeks, <laughs> but I was like, why am I getting all my pay now? Like, doesn't it show up on my paycheck? But the way it shows up on your paycheck is weird. Like I could never get used to that. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's count the cash now that it's organized and see how much we have. We should have $1,000. This should complete. I, I, lo I love that it's it's only like a few lines. I thought it was going to be pages, so I just kind of like left all this blank, you guys. I was like, it's going to take forever to get to the $1,000. But... Here's our, our <clears throat> here's our three goals. So we have the emergency fund, the filing for taxes, the DMV, which actually was cute one seventy. All right. So let's count this money and get this video over with because I wanna ooh, I just knocked my camera. I want to get in the car and go do some gig working because it's time. Look at this fat stack. Most of this is ones making this big stack. So, all right. So we have 100, 200, um, 300. I'm going to move this up. 300. I know I'm going to cheat. So, ah. 50, 100, wow, my brain just died. <laughs> I worked 63 hours last week, guys. 63 hours is too much for my brain. So another 100, and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, wait a minute, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Is that only 80? Let's double check this. I'll be right back. Ha, I found it. It was in this, this one here. So let's double check this. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it was in that one. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! $1,000 here. This is our $1,000 emergency fund. I'm going to bring it to the bank, condense it down into $100 bills so it's not like that thick. Um, but I'm excited, you guys. Ah, oh, we have our emergency fund! 
Oh, I am so relieved. Like, my, my inner little kid is jumping up and down like a crazy candy cracked out kid. Um, I just, I can't believe this actually happened as fast as it did. Oh my gosh, like, I am so relieved right now. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, we made it. We did it. I didn't think it was going to happen. I have such self-doubt, you guys. Like, I, I seem very confident, but, you know, my inner self s says a lot of mean things sometimes, you know. Um, that's why I really, really preach, you know, mental health, making sure that your mental health, Jesus, look at this. It's so fat, I don't even want to close it. I don't even think I need to close it. Whop. Okay. We're going to bring that to the bank, condense that down today. Um, where's our highlighter? Highlighter. I've been using... As you guys know, I've been using markers as highlighters, but I found a real one. Uh, but I have a lot of self-doubt. Oh my gosh, it's dried out. Oh no. Finding another highlighter. Oh, yellow marker. Um, I have a lot of self-doubt. And I think a lot of it is because of how my life has gone, you know? And, and that's okay. I mean, self-doubt is what it is. It's when you listen to your inner self and believe in yourself because the things you can do when you believe are amazing. And you know what? That's okay. And it's okay to sit there and go, hey, I'm not okay today. I'm not okay. And that's just, it is what it is. So, ta-da! We have one, two, three. And then we're going to reevaluate our budget to devise a plan large and small goals i don't know what that's going to look like it makes me nervous <laughs> however i wanted to let you guys know i am going to continue to add to my emergency fund i'm actually going to list it as a bill in my next uh, few paycheck um, budgeting videos so today is october 25th is it the 25th? I think it's the 25th. 2023. 20, and then we have six. Why did I write six? It's a zero. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, I was not anticipating to mess that up. Oh, well. It says $1,000. <clears> it's a little janky looking. So we added 600 into this. So we are at the goal. So I know that this pen is very, very much so smearing when I highlight, even though it's my favorite pen. We are going to do a little box over that area. All right, so the box is over that area. We have completed that. And as we add to it, we will add to this. Eventually, I might get a notebook just for emergency fund tracking um, or just get a tracker for the inside. I don't know what happened to all my trackers, you guys. I don't know. They're, I, I can't find them anywhere. I, I bought them off Amazon a million years ago, and I didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't figure that out. So... This is the end of the video. I'm gonna finish up this coffee. We are, it's definitely grandpa coffee today. Very, very creamy. Um, I'm going to go do some gig working. I gotta go to work. I will hopefully be meeting the head overlord of the area today and do what you can with what you got and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.